what special traditions do you have in the lower elementary? My favorite is biography day. <laughs> and that's what we do instead of Halloween. So throughout the month of October, we talk about famous people. Sorry, I was too still and the lights have gone out. <laughs> throughout the month of October, we talk about and read books about people who've made the world a better place, famous people, and people who you can find children's books about. And then all the children pick one person that they think really exemplifies this idea of making the world a better place. And they have to defend it. <laughs> they have to tell you how they made the world a better place. And then they research that person and they write a very short biography report about that person. And then on the last school day in October, they come to school dressed up if they want to as their chosen person. And we all gather together by class and they read their reports and they share their chosen famous person with the rest of the class. And it's kind of a magical experience and I really love it. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We dress up too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other end of the year, so that's in the fall. And then in the spring, we have a culminating study of history. So every year we pick a different ancient civilization and we divide that into different aspects of that civilization. We call these the fundamental needs. So what kind, of, how did they meet their need for food? How did they meet their need for clothing? How did they meet their need for religion? It might be a physical or spiritual need. How did they meet needs for transportation? And so each child will pick one of those aspects that they're interested in, maybe in a group. Three or four children might be interested in the food. Um, they will do their research. They will write uh, a report about it. And then some kind of artistic or creative project. My food groups often just cook. They find strange mm -hmm. recipes and then they serve a meal to the class. The clothing group, they might be designing jewelry and making outfits. Transportation is, uh, you know, cardboard chariots uh, going on. Big festival um, where they can go through and see everyone's reports and all of their projects. Sometimes we get a chance to let other classes come visit or parents we've done in the past it varies year to year, but it's really fun to watch their progression over the three years when they do a this project over and over again in the first year, maybe they've got three sentences and <laughs> their diorama is covered in tape and <laughs> falling apart. And then their third year, they've got this huge, amazing creation and beautiful topic sentences. It's, it's, it's just really fun um, to see how creative they can get, how deeply they can dive into the study. That one's also fun because we generally do different civilizations. So when we bring the classes together and do a little loop of what the other group has done, they get a picture of something that's completely different than what we did that year. 